Prophet Hud alayhi salam was sent by Allah to the people of Ad, who were known for their size and strength. They were a tribe that lived in the Arabian Peninsula and they were known for being wealthy and well established. However, the people of Ad were extremely sinful and refused to submit to the will of Allah. They worshipped idols and did not believe in Allah's prophets. Prophet Hud tried to warn them about the consequences of their actions and encouraged them to change their ways before it was too late. He told them that if they continued to disobey Allah, they would be destroyed. Despite his efforts, the people of Ad refused to listen to Prophet Hud's message. They mocked him and accused him of being crazy. Allah then sent a severe wind upon the land, which lasted for seven nights and eight days. This wind destroyed everything in its path, including the people of Ad. Only Prophet Hud and his followers were saved, as they had followed Allah's commandments and obeyed the Prophet's message. The story of Prophet Hud is a reminder to all of us to obey Allah's commands and to follow the guidance of his prophets. It serves as a warning that those who refuse to submit to Allah's will and continue to engage in sinful acts will face grave consequences. The following Quranic verses mention the story of Prophet Hud peace be upon him. Surah Araf Ayah, verse, 65-72 And to Ad, their brother Hud. He said, O my people! Worship God, you have no God other than Him. Will you not take heed? The elite of his people who disbelieved said, We see foolishness in you, and we think that you are a liar. He said, O my people! There is no foolishness in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I convey to you the messages of my Lord, and I am a trustworthy adviser to you. Are you surprised that a reminder has come to you from your Lord, through a man from among you, to warn you? Remember how he made you successors after the people of Noah, and increased you greatly in stature. And remember God's blessings, so that you may prosper. They said, Did you come to us to make us worship God alone, and abandon what our ancestors used to worship? Then bring us what you threaten us with, if you are truthful. He said, Condemnation and wrath have befallen you from your Lord. Are you arguing with me over names, which you and your ancestors invented, for which God sent down no authority? Just wait. I am waiting with you. So we saved him and those with him, by mercy from us, and we cut off the roots of those who rejected our revelations and were not believers. Surah Had Ayah, verse, 50 to 60. And to Ad, their brother Had. He said, O my people, worship God, you have no other God besides him. You do nothing but invent lies. O my people, I ask you no wage for it, my wage lies with him who originated me. Do you not understand? O oh my people, ask forgiveness from your Lord, and repent to Him. He will release the sky pouring down upon you, and will add strength to your strength. And do not turn away and be wicked. They said, O oh Hud, you did not bring us any evidence, and we are not about to abandon our gods at your word, and we are not believers in you. We only say that some of our gods have possessed you with evil. He said, I call God to witness, and you to witness, that I am innocent of what you associate. Besides him. So scheme against me, all of you, and do not hesitate. I have placed my trust in God, my Lord and your Lord. There is not a creature but he holds it by the forelock. My Lord is on a straight path. If you turn away, I have conveyed to you what I was sent to you with, and my Lord will replace you with another people, and you will not cause him any harm. My Lord is guardian over all things. And when our decree came, we saved Hud and those who believed with him, via mercy from us, and we delivered them from a harsh punishment. That was odd, they denied the signs of their Lord, and defied his messengers, and followed the lead of every stubborn tyrant. And they were pursued by a curse in this world, and on the day of resurrection. Indeed, Odd blasphemed against their Lord, so away with Odd, the people of Hud, 